this is Susan Sutton, editor of ASI, and today I'm at the ASC Spring 2015 Convention and Expo in Nashville, Tennessee. I'm talking to Dave Nick, president of DPA International. He's going to be giving a talk about the outlook of the adhesives and sealants industry. Dave, thanks for joining us. I'm glad to be here. Now, the adhesives industry is growing faster than GDP, other well, than in the construction sector. The construction sector has been a little bit below GDP average for growth because primarily because the construction sector uh, depends a lot on new construction, more than just maintenance and, and reconstruction or rehabilitation. So as a result, uh, the new construction loans for particularly private construction have been down and has been taken up a little bit more in terms of uh, a heavier weighting on rental properties. So they're taking older properties that have some renovation requirement, but nowhere near the investment that one would receive from new construction. So as a result, the adhesive and the sealing industry is not seeing the growth in that sector as well as it would have had it been all new construction. Mm -hmm. So the growth that we're looking at for adhesives and sealants, particularly in, in uh, commercial and rental properties, is about 2.5%, maybe closer to 3 depending on uh, the time toward the end of the year. But for now, it's slower. But other sectors of the economy for adhesive and sealant growth, such as uh, transportation, uh, and uh, do-it-yourself, uh, homeowners uh, re rehabbing their old property, if you would, uh, has certainly gone way above what GDP will be. Mm -hmm. And that's more in the three and a quarter, three and a half percent range. I know that you've done a lot of research and work with the BRICS region. Can you tell us what is the BRICS region? Mm -hmm. yeah, the, the BRICS are a series of five countries uh, made up of Brazil, Russia, <coughs> India, China, and South Africa. And they were developed uh, as actually the outlook output from uh, a meeting that was held in the late 1980-1990s uh, uh, on a typical group of countries that uh, exhibited a fair amount of uh, high growth in all sectors of their economy but were still in the developing mode. And as a result, uh, Goldman Sachs developed this whole concept and it was just a series of companies or countries to look at. And as they did this, uh, it kind of caught on because there were, it was an interesting mix of countries. And Brazil, for one, is the biggest country in South America. Uh, Russia is certainly the largest in terms of overall size in Europe. And uh, India, the biggest uh, country in uh, the, the middle sector of Europe and into Asia. And China, naturally the largest country in the world, followed by South Africa, which was the gateway to all of Africa. And the primary premise of the BRICS uh, at that time was to illustrate how these economies develop and kind of was a watchword for the development of economies, except they had one problem, that if they were to develop their industry with uh, internal uh, generated income, there wouldn't be enough to really do what, what they could do. And to borrow money from the Asian Development Bank or the World Bank came with so many deals attached to it, such as uh, human rights involvement, uh, involvement in uh, certain sectors of the economy that were out of limits, uh, factors involved in currency controls. But the BRICS uh, met together and said, look, the only way we're going to get around this situation is develop our own bank. And last year, the BRICS Development Bank was formed. And it was a multi-billion dollar funding in dollars to begin with which is now the seed money for the developing of these five countries, which are beginning their own interrelationship trade, and the trade is in their own currencies, not in a common international currency, which has traditionally been the dollar. Mm -hmm. So now, with the evolution of the, of the BRICS bank and the lending of monies for development, uh, these countries are starting to intertrade with each other and are developing a, a rather formidable economy within uh, the region of those five countries. Okay, and what impact does that have on the adhesives and sealants industry worldwide and in North America? It has a significant effect because virtually uh, all of the projects that they're involved with use adhesives and sealants because the majority of the products projects are in the uh, construction sector because that's where it is, infrastructure and construction. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thanks a lot. Okay, thank you.